According to Mr. Chastney, the opposition coalition in Venezuela won the two-thirds majority in parliament. Now, according to the UWP leader, the Petro-Caribe concessionary oil deal is under review and, by the look of things, may be in serious jeopardy. Mr. Chastney quoted the coalition opposition as saying that the oil is for Venezuela. The Petro-Caribe deal has always been a bone of contention. The opposition party had previously taken issue over the terms of agreement, which seemed to be constantly changing as time went by. It was announced yesterday that they are going to be reviewing um, the Petro-Caribe deal. The opposition has been saying this for some time, that what is going on in Venezuela is not sustainable, and that how could we be supporting and collaborating with a country that is in breach of so many human rights, that is in breach of basic democracy. As far as Mr. Chastney is concerned, it was quite obvious that the reason for the deal in the first place was to buy votes on the side of Venezuela. Chastney noted that St. Lucia has abstained at the UN from voting on human rights issues. A number of the projects undertaken may either be scrapped or put on hold. St. Lucia has been, its voting pattern in the UN has changed, as we've indicated, but more importantly, on human rights issues, that we have abstained on all major votes at the UN in human rights. And that's why it makes the letter from the Europeans more alarming. That's why we must take the situation with Jafali very seriously. And that is why that we must take this situation with the CIP even more seriously. As far as Mr. Chastney is concerned, it is left to be seen how St. Lucia will fare if the petro caribe deal is scrapped. For the DBS News World, I am Don Nicholas.